Oh, Basamba on the line. Hello, Basamba. Yes. Hi, Basamba. How are you? Welcome to Kirfatu. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let, us, um, uh, let me know if you are hearing Basamba. First, Basamba, I want you to let me know because um, I want to make the clarification first. Is this the same Basamba drama who does the Basamba talk show for, or it is a different Basamba? Yeah, Basamba Steak is my nephew. Basamba that does the Basamba Steak is my nephew. I'm Basamba Muhammad Drame, you know, I'm his uncle. So this is Basamba of Red Carpet Solutions. Basamba of what solutions? Red Carpet Solutions. Red Carpet Solutions. If you can speak a little louder. Okay. Basamba, so um, I know I reached out to uh, Honorable Musayali Ali Bachi earlier on, and also I spoke to you earlier on about this allegation going around about uh, the uh, what is the name of the country again i don't know it's difficult to pronounce i don't i always find it difficult to Nir, Nirga, nicaragua. 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 nicaragua 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 yes nicaragua. Nicar tell us yeah. what is the situation what happened how you guys have been taking people to uh, this uh, place for vacation and what is this what happened at this point what is this problem um, uh, what happened, you know, to uh, make the long story short, you know, um, we've uh, been uh, producing visas for people to travel to Nicaragua. And uh, the route was via uh, Istanbul from Banjo to uh, Panama or to Sao Paulo, then to Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they will, uh, from there, you know, they'll find their way out, you know, on themselves, their mm -hmm. own. Yeah. So, and uh, we realized that, you know, why not we charter a whole flight that will take about 100 or 200 or 300 people, you know, who will just, you know, venture into the, uh, uh, the journey to go to Nicaragua for tourism. Okay. Yes. So, so at this point, we are told you guys have up to 200 and, uh, 250 passengers. Is this true that you are supposed to take in this particular trip? What happened to those passengers? Why haven't they been able to travel? Um, uh, well, there were so many hiccups. And actually, uh, the passengers we have in is 235. These are the passen number of passengers we have in on uh, our manifest. And uh, because it's a charter flight, so we were required to make a manifest with the name, the passport numbers, you know, and all the details of the people, the passengers traveling. So we have about 235, and these people, not all of them, you know, paid, you know. So, and uh, the hiccups we have in is that, you know, we, uh, we hired a big plane, you know, uh, uh, an Airbus, that is an Airbus 747 that takes about 560 people. And uh, the plan was to have two trips, a 250 flight to go first, and then another 250 flight to go second, that makes it 500. And now for this Boeing, you know, we could not fill it up to uh, 560. And so uh, that uh, was one of the delay. So the first delay was our first agent, you know, whom we hired from uh, 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 Eagle Air Services. And we came together to Nigeria here, and he was uh, beating about the bush, dilly-dallying with uh, our affairs. And uh, so we realized that, you know, his case was, there was a bit, uh, his case was a bit dubious. And so we uh, ended the relation with him. Like, you know, it's a long story what happened, as I explained it to you, like earlier on before the show. Yeah. So uh, the thing is, um, we now uh, are having the, uh, the project in our own hands, and we ourselves are hiring the flight, you know, and we've reached out to uh, uh, some options that we are exploring. And uh, we understand that this is uh, going to happen. And uh, we've talked with... Uh, we are good to go, and a date is even being slated, that is on the 30th of this month. The flight will be coming, you know, that will be taking the people to Nicaragua. Now, do you have visas for all of these passengers? Do you have uh, been able to acquire uh, airplane for? Do you have a visa for all of them? 
all of the passengers. Yes, they all go to because all the 235, you know, we make their visas. Like the moment you were uh, in tent, at first, you know, what we uh, used to do, that's like, you know, three, four months ago, is that we only make the visa for you. And then, you know, you go to the airline agencies like Air Turkey, Turkish Airlines, or you go to Sadhguru or any other airlines that um, uh, sells, that sell ticket. You can go to them and they will get your ticket. But for us, you know, you only pay uh, the uh, visa fees. But this time is that, you know, whenever someone comes and you intend to travel, like, you know, we make the visa for you. It's not visa free, but the visa is part of the package that we charge. And so you will have your visa and uh, your vaccine uh, vaccination certificate and you'll have your, uh, uh, your yellow fever uh, uh, medical certificate and... Uh, all the documents, you know, that are necessary for you to travel with. So we fixed that one for you. And so we put your name in the manifest and uh, you will uh, then uh, pay. Some people will pay and then, you know, we'll get their visas to them to confirm to them that, you know, they are part of uh, the trip. So, but uh, Mr. Mr. Basamba, um, you guys don't operate as an air, um, air travel agency in the Gambia. Now, how are you able to get a landing for, for an aircraft in the Gambia or even in, in the country that you're taking these passengers to? Because you don't have a, you don't that, operate as an air, air, air. That, 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 that was also, you know, one of the um, hiccups we had um, uh, during the acquisition of uh, London permit in the Gambia after we uh, requested uh, from uh, the GCAA, Gambia um, Aviation Authority. Mm -hmm. So... Um, what happened? Red Carpet Solution is a company like registered and you know is uh, legal to operate like you know as a facilities management company and a consultancy services company. Mm -hmm. And uh, to us, you know, as far as we are consultancy services and uh, we are licensed to operate as one. So for visa consultation, for um, uh, uh, other consultation services, you know, we can practice as one. But you know what we didn't realize was. For you to acquire a landing permit, you know, you have to go um, further than that. You need to register with the Gambian Aviation Authority and uh, the GIA. So we didn't know about that. So until the last minute, you know, we were when we were denied um, uh, the permit of uh, Gambia, uh, the landing permit of the Gambia. So that's the time we realized. And uh, so we revised the whole thing. The whole thing is revised now, and uh, we uh, now uh, partnered with a licensed, uh, a licensed company, a company who is authorized to uh, go on uh, to work as a tour guide company and also to uh, sell tickets. So this company is working with us now as a new partner, and uh, we are working on to get in a uh, landing permit in the Gambia, which is uh, confirmed. You know, we promised. Um, uh, there's already promise been made that you know we'll have our landing permit. But Basamba, you, you, your, 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 this, um, your office have before taking people to this uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua, right? Mm -hmm. Before, before this particular incident happening, right? You have done that before, right? And they had no e hitches. And they have, sorry. There were no hitches as to taking them and bringing them. Oh, uh, yeah, there were no hitches, actually, you know. So uh, the thing is, um, uh, the office was operating as uh, the visa consultancy, like, you know, giving them uh, license, you know, and even individuals were doing that, you know. Um, you produce the visa. It's an online visa that you do. So it's like you, uh, you will... Uh, fill a form online and you know is a very complicated form that you will fill and it you know to do one visa it can take you for like two hours you know fixing it so it requires a lot of time you know especially you know when you are new to it and uh, the more you if you have experience you can do it in maybe one hour for one visa so uh, this is the patient that you will need to do a visa so we were doing it and some other people were also producing visas but what happened the office was not selling tickets you know, it was not acting as an agent, you know, of uh, selling ticket. What ha used to happen was, you know, after acquiring a visa for you, you are on your own. So you will go to airline agency, any airline agents that will sell ticket to you, will only give you an advice of, uh, will consult you based on the route you are to take. We'll take the route of uh, Istanbul, Istanbul to uh, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo to uh, Panama, and then, you know, to Nicaragua. So we'll give you that route. And people were paying uh, airlines 
uh, to give them to issue tickets for them so this was ongoing so now at this point um over at almost 235 passengers have been in, uh, are involved supposed to be involved in this particular trip at this point um, you don't have the li uh, landing um, uh, uh, landing license for Gambia um, in the in if, if at all you don't you're not able to take these people to their destination what happens are you able to refund their monies to them because this is a lot of money I'm being told this is some I spoke to one of the complainants who told me they have paid almost some have paid almost four thousand five hundred dollars others have paid six thousand dollars now are you able to pay these people their money in full six thousand dollars or four thousand based on what they have paid to you guys uh, yeah the thing is you know it's uh, a promise to deliver you know um uh, contract even if at all there is no contract written contract but you know when somebody gives you your money to do something you have to provide the service and if you don't provide the service you do a refund so we have refund policies you know that are there but uh, some of the customers they're not just patient because of the time you know we've given them like you know first time has failed and the second one also just because of the last hiccup not having uh, the landing permit and now we're trying you know for another you know, um, landing permit because all uh, requirements are now been fulfilled. And uh, if you require, if we fulfill those requirements, you know, we are guaranteed to have the permit, and you know, it's guaranteed for the flight to go. So it's just the uh, um, uh, the non-patient ones amongst them that are making noise and uh, asking for refund. As we even speak now, you know, some are even calling, you know, and still asking for refund. But some just want to know, you know, to confirm with us whether the flight is going or not. And uh, when we um, affirm to them that the flight is coming and the flight will surely go and that you know um, acquiring the uh, permits of Gambia and Nicaragua uh, is certain is a certainty so you know they they, they find to do it they find to wait until you know the date that is slated you know that is the 30th of this month now so you are saying the new date is the 30th of this month October so if that fails that yeah. is the time you will think about refunding uh, these people yeah exactly that's the time you know we will that's the time that um uh, the company will now you know uh, you know sit and refund it's not like you know everyone will come at once and will be like okay well we refunded this so there must be some set rules and uh, dates and time you know that they will come to the office you know either in groups or by pairs or by one by one and then we give them their money but for those people who say your company is is involved in trafficking because a lot of us know that um, when people go to Nicaragua, Nicaragua, they are looking for the back way to go to the United States. Mm -hmm. And that indirectly is trafficking because, you know, these people don't have that kind of money to go on vacation to that place. They cannot spend 90 days. They cannot afford that kind of payment in that destination that you're taking them. A lot of people that you have taken, they have said they are in America right now. So will you be, you know, are you concerned that this could look like trafficking and for, for, for your company? Uh, no, the thing is, um, so many people are going, people are going to Nicaragua. Nicaragua is a center for tourism. And, you know, if you have the stamp or the visa of Nicaragua, you can walk into any of the four um, uh, countries, you know, between Nicaragua and uh, Mexico. Um, you can walk into any country, you know, and you are free to, you know, um, uh, uh, around you know the americas so um uh, if you uh, personally you know if one person is like okay well you know i want to go to america you know from nicaragua you know for us as a company we are meticulous in uh, our ways you know we we'll make sure like you know every requirement that country asks, you know you will have it every uh, booking hotel bookings that you need to do you know you will have it and every uh because even the aircraft involved you know is at risk like you know because that's the reason you know we pay for their return ticket we pay for their going and their return ticket so if the airline has to go back and then you know he finds the airline you know finds no one it finds no one on the ground to um, uh, get on board you know to take them back to their countries then you know the people disappear so it's like uh, the airline wouldn't be held responsible for bringing them, you know, because the airline has come back to pick them up. It's just that, you know, there were no body, you know, to be found because they've all absconded. The people that you have taken, have anybody returned back? 
Um, uh, we do not um, uh, uh, know of any, you know, that have returned. But, you know, we know of some, you know, that were having some hiccups. And uh, so they kind of uh, felt that, you know, they need to return back home because, you know, they could not continue. So um, a lot of people are concerned, uh, especially uh, Musa Ali Bachili is a politician and he's also, he's the head of this company, right? Yeah, Musa Ali is the head. It's a company of like a 50-50 um, partnership. Like, you know, I am um, acting as uh, one of the head and he's also, you know, the head. So it's like he's the managing director and I am the CEO. So it's just one name of a head, you know, but with different names. So is there any other Gambians apart, apart from you and Musayali Bachiri, or is just the two of you? Like, you know, no, we have a whole team, you know, a whole agent. The agents are part of us, you know, who are like working for us. Some agents are working for themselves and, you know, just getting the clients. And, you know, we have uh, employees and uh, the whole thing. So, but other people like, you know, who are acquiring uh, this kind of visas for people and, you know, uh, facilitating their trip for them so i think you know there are other people i may not know of but you know i believe that you know we are not the only people doing it so um like i said earlier i know there are agents for example you guys are selling the package for four thousand five hundred dollars but the agents are selling it more than that some are selling it for six thousand or six thousand but now what happened because some of the two of the people that i spoke to said they paid six thousand the dollars and but they have not paid directly to you guys if that reform reform needs to happen well, how is that going to happen because they have paid six thousand but you guys are asking for four five now how how would you reconcile that um well that will be you know um uh, all on our uh, reform uh, policies and uh, which will happen like you know the moment you know the flight has not landed on the 30th you know we'll think about all of that because we'll we have our agents you know with us the agents that are 100 percent our own em our, under our employee and the agents that are not under our employee we have to you know decipher you know the two types of agents and then you know we'll come to terms and uh, uh, some agents we are warned you know not to touch any money is given to them or they are caught or whatsoever until everything is settled and then you know they will start you know enjoying their profits but you know let them make sure that you know nothing has been touched you know in the monies given to them and to those people who are saying this is human tra trafficking that a political leader like Musa Ali Bachili is involved in what would you say to those people because a lot of people are saying this is I I I have seen tons of videos on TikTok on Facebook people talking about and when I spoke to you earlier I said look but somebody sounds like um, human trafficking to me but you told me obviously it's not to those people who are convinced that this is human trafficking what what, what do you want to say to them yeah well human trafficking usually you know um, uh, i don't know like you know how the term is being defined but you know in my understanding like you know when you take people and they want to go um uh, for tourism or they want to go and uh, uh, resettle in another country like an immigrant for as an immigrant in that country and then make their way out to uh, greener pasture so uh, and uh, those same people are saying like you know because of some uh, tardiness happening to their journey you know those same people saying you know look at me i am part of it i've been trafficked by you know so and so person like you know it's like very funny you're like okay well i want to go as a tourist but the moment they said your flights are not available for this month the flight will come or this week the flight will come next week you same person you know goes on say telling people that you know hey I paid my money into their account. I give them my money for them to, you know, take me to Nicaragua. You know, these people, you know, they are traffickers. So, you know, how will that sound? It's like you same customer who comes with your money voluntarily, not being forced, not being asked, you know, not being promised anything. We do not promise them that when they go to Nicaragua, they'll be employed or when they go to Nicaragua, you know, they will have like, you know, um, a better life, you know, than here. So they themselves, you know, came and, you know, they themselves volunteered, they, like they, accepted that you know they are going to nicaragua and what we fix for them is that your documents should be intact your visa should be intact all the documentations that the government of nicaragua would require from them so these are the things that we uh, make available for them and if those things are available then they are going as clean as a slate they go in there like you know as tourists and whatever happens after nicaragua you know um, uh, that's their own decision to make
Finally, to the customers who have paid to your company and they're worried, um, they're concerned that this travel may not happen, and they, what do you want to tell them and the entire Gambian population who might want to do this kind of business with you in the future? What message do you want to tell first the customers that you have right now and the entire Gambian population? Because I see a lot of people telling me this is human trafficking and they are saying it's, you know, a lot of people are also concerned. What message do you want to tell first the customers and also then the entire population? Yeah, what I want to tell the customers is that um, uh, after, if any customer is having the intention to pass through Nicaragua from there to go to the U.S., you know, family members, you know, in the U.S., some some of them, their family members in the U.S., you know, would even tell them that, you know, this is a good opportunity for you to come. It's not a Trump administration. It's Biden. It's a Biden administration. It's not a Trump administration anymore. And so, you know, you guys, you know, will be having the biggest opportunity of your life to travel, to come to the U USA. So this is the time, you know, you have to venture into the journey of coming to the Americas and then to uh, uh, the U.S. So uh, this, we are only, you know, facilitators. You know, we are only facilitators of, you know, making that journey because the destination they want is Nicaragua. We give them the Nicaraguan visa. We give them the destination to Nicaragua. And from there, they venture with their own um, uh, pocket monies, with their own uh, uh, knowledge, with their own risk, you know, to take. But well, Mr. Basamba, you know, are you not already saying that this is an opportunity for people to go to the United States? Is that not itself? No, I'm saying, I'm saying you know, the family members okay. of the people, you know, will tell them. We oh. have family members of, you know, these customers who will be telling them that this is the opportunity that is a Biden administration now. Okay. The borders are open, you know, for the people to go. So why not them, you know, try? And we are facilitators, okay. you know, to give them the job to go to Nicaragua. And from Nicaragua, you know, they find their way with the help of their families, you know, give with their own pocket money to go through um, Nicaragua and continue their journey. Because after Nicaragua, is after we take them to Nicaragua, and after Nicaragua, you know, we are no longer, you know, um, uh, uh, you know uh, guiding them to go through. So we'll give them the route, you know, if they want. Okay. So, and to the Gambian people, any message? Because a lot of people are concerned that a lot of money is... To the Gambian people, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them, you know, I don't know whether I'm allowed to do any marketing in the platform, well, you, you know, for the people are, to fill up. I'm going to have to send you a bill, you and Musa Ayali, Bachili, for that. No, no problem. The thing is, you know, the flight is there and the flight is, you know, available. So we still have like, you know, um, uh, still there's a um, uh, hundred more, you know, seats that are available. And, you know, what, if we can fill the but 200. Basama, are you still advertising when you are not even able to take the 235 that you have collected money from? And you're still advertising? No. No, we because we have in a five hundred and sixty, you know, aircraft. We have in a five hundred and sixty aircraft. If you know more people pay, we bring the five hundred and sixty. That will go. If at all, you know, only two hundred and thirty thirty five we have in. So you know, we have you know maybe fifteen more to fill the up the two hundred and fifty. So if that's available, we bring the flight. It's not that you know we don't. It's about the, the availability is there. It's not that you know we can't take the two hundred and fifty customers. It's just that you know the hiccups that were happening, like we said before, um, uh, the landing permits. You know those are the major things. And if we have those landing permits on the thirtieth, the flight will go. Inshallah. If if doesn't if it doesn't go on the thirtieth, I'll have you. Actually, Musa Ayali actually promised to speak to me when he comes back. You guys are out of the country because of the, no, uh, yeah. the flight issues, but we, we will have to sit exactly. down. This is even a more serious issue for him as a politician and, you know, yeah. his name involving in something like this. But also, you know, yeah. I, I think it needs to be more clear as to what is the definition between this and human trafficking. But again, like I said, exactly. we will talk to him when he comes back. Thank you very much for no, just no. clearing the air for us. You know, I will leave that to no. the to the followers to, to to see what they make of this. And thank you for talking no. to us. My regards to him when he gets back. No worries, thank you. Thank you. And this is definitely different yeah. from the other Basamba. I want to make it clear. Oh, yeah.
definitely different yes. from the other boss. I'm a definite. The other boss I'm is my nephew. You yeah. know, a good friend. So you know, he's definitely different from the other boss. Okay. He was here. He was here in Nigeria also. He called me. Yeah. That uncle, I'm in Lagos in Nigeria. Whilst I was in Abuja, you know, I'm in Abuja, and you know, he was in Lagos, so you know, we could not see. Okay. So that was the that was the misunderstanding that happened. So some people even called and we you, know, you guys, you know, you are lying to us. You know, I've seen Basamba. Basamba is in the Gambia. So you know, once you know they um uh, mistook that other Basamba to me. Oh, oh, okay. So they thought that you know you know because they knew that you know he was here, and so he came to Lagos. We didn't even see me and that Basamba. We me and Basamba didn't even see. So you know he went back. And some other people were like, Basamba came from Nigeria, you know, he's in the Gambia. And some people had to call me and said, you know, I'm, uh, I've been told that you are back, you know. And because most of these customers, we don't even see them. It is the agents who brought their monies and everything. We only see their passport and fix it. So that's all we did. Basamba, so, I know, I know, so you, I know you are a U.S. resident, right? And you, 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 you are right. I don't want to, you, you are a Gambian U.S., you know, you are not, you don't live in the Gambia, no, right? No, I'm Gambian. Gambia. I've never been to US. Oh, you have never been to the US? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Then I okay. But, but I, just to, I, I just wanted to say, I know a lot, if anybody sees this from the US, they will tell you this is human trafficking. So if you are somebody who lives in the US, that would have been a little dif dif different with, I mean, but yeah, you are not from the US. Okay. Yeah, I'm not from the US. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to us. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.